It's still early out in Cali, baby, don't you want to rally again? Find a road with no man, way back in the slow lane. Skies dropping Jupiter around us like some old train. We'll be rolling down the windows, I bet you we'll catch a nice second wind. Guys, I'm so excited. I just went grocery shopping and I got stuff to make those blondies that I was talking about that I want to make. So once I get to my house, we shall get going. All right, so first of all, sorry, I look disgusting. I just played flag football with my brother and his friends on the beach and so I'm like super gross. But I really wanted to make the blondies today. If you guys watched my Bite Meals review video, you saw that they had these gooey peanut butter chocolate chip blondies that were so good and like I said it's just unfortunate because they're so expensive because you have to pay for shipping just to buy these but I really think we can make them because it's just the ingredients are garbanzo beans, peanuts, pea protein isolate, maple syrup, coconut palm sugar, chocolate chips, vanilla, baking powder, and sea salt. So it's super simple and I really think we can recreate this so that's what I'm going to try and do right now. Alright so what we have here are the garbanzo beans of course. We're going to use one can of garbanzo beans. Uh, so they use maple syrup. I have this Walden Farms uh, maple pancake syrup, the zero calorie one I talked about that I'm going to use. Coconut sugar. If you don't have coconut sugar you can also use brown sugar. It's just uh, this has a lower glycemic index or you can use stevia but I think coconut sugar will taste better. Dark chocolate chips of course. And then we have vanilla extract, baking powder, and baking soda. Oh, also, uh, we are going to use the Tone It Up Perfect Fit Protein. So this is a pea protein. Like I said, the Bite Meals used a pea protein isolate, so I want to try and be as close to them as possible. So this is a pea protein vanilla latte flavor. They also have chocolate and vanilla flavors. But this is the only one I have with me right now, so we're going to try that. If you don't have pea protein, you can also use, you can use like uh, ground up flax seeds or ground up oats as well. You just kind of need like a flour consistency, so don't feel like you have to go buy the protein powder. Of course, it will make your bars higher in protein, which is nice, but if you don't want to spend the money, then just use that instead. This protein powder is from the company Tone It Up, like I said. So if you want to buy it, you can go to toneitup.com. They're my old bosses. I love them and I love supporting them. And it's a really good option. So I recommend that. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, also you're going to need a blender. And I believe I'm going to try it at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. I'm going to check on it every 10 minutes. But um, yeah. I'll show you the ingredients and I'll show you the measurements I use and hopefully it'll turn out good, but we will see. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Oh, spilled some. About a fourth cup of pea protein. Next up, a fourth cup of peanut butter. and about a fourth cup of maple syrup. Now we blend. I'm making my blondies. I was alive with it. Look at these bad boys. Wow, how good does that look? So as you can see, I just pulled them out of the oven. I'm gonna let them cool a little bit, then cut them and try them. They look delicious. I'll show you them again once they're cooled. And oh, it only took 20 minutes. So yeah, again, the time may vary depending on your oven, depending on which ingredients you use, but for me, 20 minutes. So 350, 20 minutes, good to go. Oh my goodness, look at these. They're like, Focus on them. They're like so soft and gooey in the middle. So I was trying to like cut them up and arrange them and make them look all pretty before I showed you guys. Oh shoot. Clearly I don't know how to do that. But when I was cutting them I was just looking at the inside of them and my goodness. Why won't it focus? 
Okay. Yeah, I'm not good at doing those cool shots, but they're like so soft and gooey and they are so good. Guys, literally one of my favorite recipes ever. Man, I wish I was good at making them look all pretty so I can like do like a really pretty picture, but just take my word for it. They're delicious and guys, I keep looking at them and they look so nice. Like they're perfectly gooey and soft, but like crispy on the outside like it's not like they just like totally fall apart but they melt in your mouth and I know that's weird that I'm talking so highly of this recipe that I just made because it's like I'm just complimenting myself but they're so good and let's see I logged it into my fitness pal to see what the macros were so it made about eight pretty decent sized bars do you see that's like the size of them I don't know if you can really tell but they're like Good size, let's see. You see? I don't know if you can tell, sorry. But, put it in my fitness pal with the ingredients that I use. It is, so each bar is only 195 calories, 7.4 fat, um, 25 carbs, and 6.5 protein. So, delicious. I highly recommend you trying them. They're, they're really good, and I think that you like them if you try them. And I'm, pr I'm I'd have to say, they're. I don't want to say they're better than the Bite Meals bars because that might be ruffling some feathers, but they're pretty darn good. So, I recommend you try them for yourself. Now I'm so happy I don't have to spend all my money on those bars just for shipping because you can just make them easily. You can probably like if you want them to last longer. Like I would recommend cutting them into eights so that you can do portion control or else you're just going to want to eat the whole thing. And then maybe wrapping them individually in saran wrap, putting them in the fridge, and then if you want them to last longer, you can put some in the freezer. So good. I should stop saying that. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I'll put the full recipe in the description box as well so it's easier for you guys to see. And if you guys try it, let me know. And yeah, I hope you guys like them. And thank you guys for watching. Let me know what else you want to see. If maybe you want to see more recipes or something, if there's something... A certain unhealthy food that you want to see healthified and you want me to try to make a recipe sure I'll go for it so you just let me know but again thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm gonna try and take like a pretty picture of these and post it on my Instagram for those of you that don't know my Instagram is Megan Cross Fitness yes Megan Cross Fitness and so I'm gonna see if I can take a good picture but I'm not good at that but if you want to see if I succeeded or not go ahead and take a look at my Instagram and we'll see but I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.